So we cut this hole in with my little Ryobi chainsaw just to, you know, I got a Husqvarna 372 and a 55, but I had the little battery powered saw with me, so we just bore cut both sides. There was an inlet on this side. We got an inlet on this side for air to draw through, and I threw some sticks down to help get it going, plus with the assistance of my assistant. But let's throw a little air to it and see what it does. I don't want to blow all the coals out, I just want to... You're not going to believe this, but the air coming out of there is toasty. We really only get flames if we give it air, but I guess the goal is just to have it smolder a little bit. Let's just give it some time and see what it does. I don't know if it's supposed to be constant flames the whole time. There's really not a lot of heat off those coals either. I'm going to throw some sticks down there see if we can get those burning. Maybe we just got to feed a little bit to it until it gets going a little hotter. Heck, I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Let those sticks burn for a little bit and see what we come back to. It's 218 right now. We'll check back. It's 450 now. It hasn't, well, I guess the bottom's smoldered out a little bit. Let's not burn the camera. It hasn't really done too crazy much, so let's hit her with the, I lost it, leaf blower. So I figured we just let this go overnight and see what it does. It didn't do much at all. And in fact, there is no heat at all coming out of this thing. Well, let's try to get her up and going again. I got loaded up with some sticks. There's flames down in the bottom. We'll leave that for a couple hours and see what happens. It's actually burning pretty good in there like that. We'll just shove some more sticks and just keep feeding it throughout the day. See what she does. It's just burning pretty good on itself now. I don't think the air hole is as much of an entrance anymore since I keep having flames come out the side of it. But that's okay. I'm curious to see how far down it'll smolder into it or if it'll just stop right there. So here it is about a day later. There is no heat. There's nothing coming out of there. Once it opened up and that heat wasn't trapped anymore, it just kind of burnt itself out. I don't think it's the most effective way to burn stumps, but I wanted to try it. But I also know that you guys are gonna have a lot of comments and a lot of suggestions on how to do it differently. And I'm excited about that because we've got a bunch of stumps to burn. So leave your suggestions in the comments and we'll make a little stump burning series. We'll do it for the sake of science and figure out what the best way to burn this stump is. I'm still convinced it's get the dirt off and pile it on top of a burn pile, but I wanna hear your ideas and I wanna try them.